Okay, I hope that's not too loud. It looks like it is fairly well moderated, but I'm going to take a moment, see if the options uh, let me tone that down a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... No longer deafening graphics. Now, you know what? You made good choices here. Okay. <clears throat> so, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. Um, a lady named Lilith Walther has made a game called Bloodborne PlayStation X <laughs> PSX. So, it is a demake of the classic uh, Bloodborne, as if it were done on an original PlayStation. I actually downloaded a PlayStation emulator after I downloaded this because I thought it would simply be a um, an ISO file I'd have to run, but apparently it's it's a it's a standalone executable, so you don't need to worry about emulating anything. But apparently it operates with all the same choices that they made, questionable and not, with the original PS One. So I'm excited to see how this pans out. This could either be a, a lot of fun or a total disaster. Oh my god, those smoke textures. I love it. <laughs> oh, I guess I have to come up with a name. Oh, we have no lowercase letters? That'll do. Okay. Uh, hell yeah. Blue hair with a hat. Not a lot of options here, but that's fine. Um, I'm not really going to mess with any of this. Oh, okay, so we still get the same origins. Uh, I have never been good at this, so I usually take something like Military Vent just because you start with a high strength. Let's do this. Now apparently the the deep the thumbsticks don't work on this uh, because the PS1 only had those as an optional feature. <laughs> now I guess this goes up to the father gas coin fight and then that's it, um, which is fine. I mean, this is clearly a labor of love made by, like, one person. Um, so, I'm not going to criticize it for length, that's for sure. Oh my god, is it, is it dithering the colors, too? Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> oh, look at him. Who wants belly rubs? Wow, that's... They're keeping all the details. I love it. Ah, you finally 
Sorry, I keep bumping my mic. Okay, so I am navigating with the D-pad. Uh, I am in trouble. <laughs> Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. That is authentic. Oh, how do I camera? Okay, so I can... I can backstep. I guess I don't have any options to uh, transform my weapon. Oh! Okay, my trigger buttons... Let me kind of move around a bit. Um, I'm hoping I get some kind of lock-on option, because I am fucked without one. Oops. Wait, what was that? Oh, X locks on. Okay, so I may not be completely fucked. Um... Oh, those big chunky textures. I love everything about this. Where, oh, where, where? Okay, so let's. Shit. Oh, God, I can't see a thing. Let's just run away. What? There's a key? Oh no. Oh, oh no, I forgot. Um, that thing is going to make short work of me. <laughs> well, we're off to a good start. Oh man. This is so ridiculous. I love it. Oh, complete with loading screen. Well, at least I get a weapon now. God, is it is it doing that weird? Did they implement the PlayStation jitter? Cuz that Wow. Because the PS1 had this thing where the uh, where it couldn't do floating point operations, so it made a lot of the textures look really weird. Okay. I keep trying to move with my stick. Oh, okay, it's just flat out telling me I need insight to go in there. That's that's fair. Okay, well, I guess we can try that werewolf again now that I have a weapon to cope with it. Let's try to do that with a little less suck. I can still... Whoops. Oh, right. Yeah, I can't use R2 because that's... I just have to hold R1. And do I get... Hmm. 
I don't see a way to swap to use my trick weapon as a trick weapon. So that's. I'm sure it'll come up, but. Oh, my stamina! Oh. <laughs> Oh, what was the... Oh, no. Okay. I've got a blood vial now. So this ladder is new. Um... <laughs> Oh. Oh, so we're running by default. That's fair. There we go. Oh, what have we here? More vials. Good. I can't seem to slide down the ladder. That's fine. Oh god, they just told me how to do this, too. Okay, that's decidedly weird, but entirely plausible <laughs> for uh, for what we're doing here. Okay, more blood vials. You should probably have those equipped. Interesting. Oh, good bullets. I'm just looking at these big chunky textures and I, something just brings a smile to my face about them. I'm probably going to do a little, a little bit of Tetris effect after this. So I guess they're using the same uh, voice samples as the original. I, I can't really blame anyone for doing that. Nobody wants to uh, mic all of that. Oops. OK. 
Okay, where's... There we go. The animations are really on point, too. I, I, I mean, I gotta give somebody credit for that. Oh, I'm locked. And this is also... This is gonna be locked by a device. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's, uh... Let's climb up to Central Yarnum. <laughs> oh, that, that skybox. Eh, yeah, same to you. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, that's interesting that they uh, basically added him as a gatekeeper uh, to get into town. Um, interesting choice. I should try parrying something, since that is a thing that was implemented after all. And I should figure out what the deal is with my trick weapon, because I haven't seen a way to... Well, that heals me, which is fine. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Let's, uh... I can't believe I just backstepped out of where I needed to be. That's uh that's pretty classic. No, oh, I think I see I just got here. Come on, I haven't done anything. Don't you foul beast me. I actually don't remember where I start to get insight. I think... I think you get one by seeing the cleric beast. See, I'm having a problem with the lock on here. <laughs> Okay, that went better than I expected.
Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, it is all my fault. Everything I everything is terrible because of me. Oh, so you get penalized by going all the way back to the hunter's dream. So, hey, bonus loading screen for you. Yeah, I'm get, it, getting used to the lock-on is kind of throwing me a little bit. Um, because it doesn't seem to lock on the guy who's closest, and I can't switch who I'm locked on to. So that's... That's uh, making things a little more difficult. Um, but I, I guess I just need to get used to it. I mean, there's some intentional jank here that's just part of the game. I mean, I should have been able to backstep out of that mess earlier and pop a blood vial. There we go. Oh! Maybe I'm not doing Quicksilver, uh, maybe I'm not doing gunshots in the best way, and certainly not conserving ammo well, but, you know, softening them up from a distance is, uh, <gasps> oh, oh, I'm alive. How did that happen? Where am I? We have a drop murder. Okay, well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is going to be the room with a huge dude, isn't it? No, maybe not. Is that a... It's a hunter? Oh, man. I'm a little worried now. I probably can't R1 spam my way out of this. I don't like this guy at all. <laughs> no! No, my blood! I need that in my body! Oh, I did not need to run into another hunter. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, die, die again. I hope my audio is coming through okay. Wow, I wasted a lot of bullets on that jerk. So I honestly don't even know if you can get a parry in this. I mean, I assume it's been implemented.
Ow, my blood. Okay, there we go. That's better. I think it's just gonna oh well there's something down here. Let's find out what. Of course, it never opens from this side. Well, okay, I'll just leave that alone then. Oh, it's the... It's the pyre. Okay, so... There's a big nasty section down there. And you know, I want to do something real quick. Oh. There's some good news. It auto... Or did it? Wow. Uh, these are some cheap coffins. Yep, it's this scene. Okay. Maybe a little toned down. So I remember hearing a guy, he, uh, Ah, grant us eyes. Um, so guy got to go um, develop the guide for Bloodborne. He was working directly with uh, from software on the matter, and <laughs> he got a chance to try out Bloodborne. And he's going into this game blind, and uh, Miyazaki's there, and he watches him take down the whole pyre scene in his first go. And he's like, okay, that was pretty hard. He's got to be impressed by this. And instead, he just looked disappointed that he didn't die. <laughs> it's like, that's harsh, man. Oh. Uh, Except Miyazaki is uh, definitely a bit of a masochist. Plus, he keeps putting poison swamps in all the things. <laughs> so he's... I mean... Oh, don't you foul beast me. Okay, there we go. Ah! I haven't even done anything yet! Yeah, how do you like them apples? It's weird, so much of this feels familiar, um, but in that off kind of, almost in an uncanny valley way, it's like I recognize what should what this should be, sort of, um, but then all the paths go in different directions. So it's like, I, I'm somewhere where I know I should be, but everything is wrong somehow. Oh, is that my blood? Yay! Right. Okay, so... That's going to be locked. Okay. So... I 
kind of want to turn my Blood Echoes into levels now that I have Insight, but I think I'll get at most one level out of it right now. Ah, oh, what's all the yelling? I haven't done anything. It was, it was me. It was that other hunter. <laughs> I'm not narcissist. can't just call people names like that. I'm just wandering around minding my own business and you're calling me a cursed beast? Really? In retrospect, I should probably store the cocktails just in case the cleric beast remains uh, vulnerable to fire. I mean, the thing with his him was you usually want to hit him with an oil flask first. And then you'd drop the fire on him. I can't believe I've been doing this for half an hour already. <laughs> okay, should I go back to the hunter's dream? Can I open this? Of course it doesn't. Let's, let's visit the dream and... Uh, See what happens now that I've got insight. Pretty sure. Right, I'll be right back. I gotta take care of something.